Fox News' Jessica Dupnack joining us live from Wyandotte. Jess, nobody wants cockroaches in their candy, but is this a pretty drastic measure by the city? Yeah, the city's doing it out in abundance of caution. I mean, it's 6 o'clock, primo trick-or-treating time, and there is, it's crickets. I guess I should say cockroaches. That is because it is closed to trick-or-treaters. These signs went up right around 4 o'clock, closing the sidewalks. Now, the problem or the issue is not so much me walking through the neighborhood. It's those little kids with their costumes dragging, those pillowcases. The concern is that those cockroaches will hitch a ride somewhere else in town. Roaches were just walking from house to house. Like the script of a Halloween movie. Imagine these guys, German cockroaches taking over your home. It just gives you that dirty feeling, makes you want to itch and clean everything, and that's what we all have been doing. The infestation started in this now temporarily condemned home in Wyandotte. Neighbors say from a trash buildup inside and spread down several blocks looking for more food. The problem so bad, the city canceled Halloween trick-or-treating on 20th Street. Three blocks shut down Monday evening. The theory is kids might bring them home elsewhere in town on their costumes. So these cockroaches are considered to be hitchhikers. Mark Vanderwerp, a bug expert with Rose Pest Solutions, just happened to have a colony of German cockroaches at his home, in his own kitchen, contained, of course, kind of. What are these? Oh, God, there's one on the uh -oh. counter. Uh-oh. Did one get out? If you ever wonder, these cockroaches love hot temperatures and literally only live inside people's homes. There's been plenty of cases where I've slid out of someone's refrigerator and hundreds of cockroaches. Just go scary. Oh, you would love it. What a nightmare. <laughs> nightmare turned reality for these folks. At first, I didn't believe it. I thought it had to be a mistake of some kind. They couldn't possibly do this. Linda is taking her Halloween to her sons on Grozeal. Saddened and grossed out. I don't blame her. Oh, they feel like kind of grippy. Oh, see, it likes, it likes, it likes hanging on to me better. Mark says once these roaches have multiplied, they can cause allergy flare-ups, and it's not an easy pest to get rid of. Rose Pest Solutions typically uses bait with intoxicants. Some folks on 20th Street are using glue boards surrounding their homes. Another option, Vaseline. The little pests can't trek through it. I don't know if you want to go smearing Vaseline around your whole foundation of your house, but if you're desperate, I mean, yeah, that would help. Yeah, I am super not a bug person, and I can feel for the folks out here in the Wyandotte neighborhood where we're standing right now. Three blocks closed to trick-or-treaters. Now the city says they're doing everything they can to mitigate the issue. They're going to spray, do all kinds of stuff to hopefully get this cockroach problem under control. Reporting live in Wyandotte, Jessica Dupnack, Fox 2 News. I could definitely tell you had the uh, Halloween heebie-jeebies uh, covering this story, Jess. I, we, we're well aware you're not a bug person uh, watching that. Um, but I'm just curious, what do those cockroaches like to eat? I, we probably should have put this warning at the top of the story, but if you're eating, stop for a second. <laughs> uh, they like garbage, the rotting things is what they like. But if that's all dried up, they like a protein in human hair. The bug guy said that, you know, they're liable to take out an eyebrow if you're sleeping. So, I, you know, do what you will with that information. Okay, yeah, we will uh, protect our eyebrows, and uh, we appreciate you, Jess, for delivering that uh, very interesting story to us.